Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is building up our controls functionality. So controls is going to run a sort of sequence like our game intro sequence. Basically, it's own little sequence that runs as long as we say something is true. So with that, let's go ahead and build that. I'm just going to put it right above button. It shouldn't really matter until we actually call it, but basically this function will be a lot like game intro. So what we could do is we could come down or even pause, but game intro sounds good since we have a lot of pre-written stuff anyway. So let's go ahead and just copy game intro. So basically everything except for the game intro def definition. So copy that and then scroll back up to where the heck do we, I guess we didn't start writing game controls. Um, so we'll just do it right here. So we'll say define game underscore controls, empty parameters, and then just paste all that stuff. And then fix intro, because that can come over here. And now we're ready to change game controls to be more like what we want this to be. So instead of intro equals true, we'll just saw, call this game cont. So game controls basically. And then wow uh, game cont or g cont. Um, what do we want to do? Well, we're still going to be asking about the quit and play events and all that. Or really, these events here don't even need to run anymore. So we have we got buttons for that now. So we'll just do that. And game display dot fill uh, white. We'll leave that. Um, and then now all we can do is we'll just say uh, we'll call this um, tanks. Or we'll just call this controls. And so that's our large font. So it's a controls. Then we'll just delete this here. Not delete it all. But we'll say uh, fire colon uh, space bar. Then we'll come over here and we'll say um, uh, move turret up and down arrows and then uh, move tank left and right arrows and that should be it but we'll also we'll throw in a p for pause we'll just put that right here actually uncomment this out and then we'll say pause p now, that's it for that screen. Um, this might cause a problem, actually, but I, guess, I think we'll just leave that there for now because that's 180 displaced from the center. We'll, I don't, know, don't feel like doing the math in my head. We'll find out in just a moment. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and just run this really quick. We'll see how all that works. Um, oh, we're not calling game controls, I don't think. So uh, we'll come back to our function here. This is where we define the function. We'll take that function name, scroll down to buttons, and instead of passing in controls, we just paste game controls, run that. Now let's try this one more time. Right. So we had here fire, spacebar, move turret, up and down arrows, move the tank. Now the pause is <laughs> a, a little too far away. So let's go back up here. Basically, uh, game controls, we're moving in basically 40s. So this should be 90, right? 40 to 50 is 90. So let's try that one more time. Hit controls. Now now that looks a little better. So the only thing left, and like everything else works, right? But there shouldn't be like a link to controls in the controls menu. So we have two options, right? We could either have controls... Um, just disappear when we go to control, so then you can just play or quit. Or better yet, we can have this be actually a little bit of a navigation and controls, and then this button should head back to the main page, I argue. So uh, I figure we might as well show that. So instead of this saying controls in controls, it says um, uh, the main menu. Okay, so we could do that. And then we could just say um, action equals uh, main menu or whatever. Um, now, for the most part, though, at least for our game, we don't actually need to do that. So what would be the point of going back to the main menu? Because at the main menu, the only things you have 
are play and quit, right? And you have that at controls. So when you're in the controls, you're really your only options are to get out or play. So I don't really see any point in making too much navigation there. So we'll just do that uh, when we're in the controls menu. So that's that. Um, and I guess let, let's just see if this would work out for us. So we can go back to main here. Action equals uh, main. And then when we're in button, we can come down here and we can say if action equals uh, main, what do we want to do? Well, then we would just run game intro. So where is game intro? There it is. So game underscore intro. I always forget like if I capitalize things and stuff. Anyway, game intro, main. Let's go ahead and save and run that now. Controls. And now we have main. We can go back, right? So we can go back and forth. Oh, man, I just really made it ma angry, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so don't go too far <laughs> that's funny anyway so you go controls go back to main and then play and so you you can't go back and forth and stuff like that um, as you can see if you get too happy with the clicks you can you can kind of probably beat pi game back to uh, before it recognizes what the function is or something but anyway um, that's it for button and adding our controls page. I think we'll, we'll just leave main there just because it's kind of neat to have a navigation like that. But, um, I'm not really sure if it's totally necessary. Uh, anyway, so we've got our controls now and all of that. And I think we're ready to maybe start building, uh, our tank. So like I said before, we're going to actually draw the tank instead of using like a sprite or something like that, because... Um, for sure, at least the turret, we want to be able to move the turret because we're going to aim the tank. And I think it might, it's almost easier to just do, like, just draw it and then you can move the shapes and stuff. But anyway, um, that's what's in store for you guys. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.